welcome to this platform so we continue with the revision and let us look at now alloys what are alloys so this is a part on metals just the last part of metals where you get to look at alloys so what are alloys or what is an alloy okay so please at this point if you've not done the sub uh, you've not subscribed to this youtube channel consider doing so don't forget to turn on a notification bell so that you do not miss out on a revision okay so the first question is what is an alloy and by definition we can say an alloy uh, is a mixture so is a mixture of two or more uh, metals or metals uh, with non metals or metals with non metals that is what we call an alloy so you are going to come across a question where you are asked to define an alloy and that is how you simply do it then of course the other question that we can look at uh, or the other part that we can look at as we do a quick revision before we look at uh, the questions is uh, the part on advantages of alloy over uh, the pure metal okay what are advantages of alloys over pure metals so one of the advantages is that um, alloys conduct both electricity and heat so alloys conduct both heat and electricity then the other part is that they are stronger than pure metal they are stronger than pure metals then of course they have high um, higher tensile so higher tensile higher tensile or strength than pure metals then they are harder than pure metals they are harder than pure metals so quite a number of the uh, advantages that we can give now let us have a look at a structure of an alloy so structure of an alloy how can you draw an alloy in terms of structure because one of the questions that you might expect is draw the structure of an alloy so how do you do it okay since we are saying an alloy is a mixture of two or more metals or metals with non metals the structure of an alloy appears like this so you're going to draw just a part of it showing uh this is an alloy now in it you are going to put the uh, particle arrangement so since you are dealing with uh, different types of metals let us say we are, have two metals so i'm not necessarily saying you use different colors but at least the size of um, particles they should be different okay so the smaller ones we have the big ones we have the big ones the smaller ones the big one the smaller ones the big ones the smaller ones okay so this shows that different um, atoms here are involved okay so we have those of metal and non-metal so that is how an alloy uh, should appear in terms of uh, uh, the structure as you can see is different from a pure metal which has you know the particles arranged in a regular uh, pattern okay then types of let me just put here types of or let me just put it down types of alloy that we can look at okay types of alloy so what are types of alloys that we can look at so one of them is brass okay brass which is an alloy of copper i'll just write cu for copper and zinc so that is brass and what is the use it is used in making so used in making uh, musical 
so it is used in making musical uh, instruments so it is used in making musical instrument then we have a bronze bronze is an alloy of copper and tin this one we can say used in making trophies then aside from that it is used in making uh, Okay, used in making uh, trophies. So please get to look for some more. Then for this one, we have also mild uh, steel. Now, mild steel is iron and carbon. Okay, that is mild steel. What is it? What is it used for? Used in making uh, bridges. Used in making bridges then used in making a uh, boring tools used in making boring tools okay then also we can say used in making auto mobile bodies so those are some of the uses then we have stainless stainless uh, steel now what is the use of stainless steel so stainless steel it is used it is the alloy of iron with uh, chromium chromium i hope that is a spelling then also nickel then what is it used for used in making any making cutlery okay cutleries such as knives breads bread for bread not bread bread for bread laser bread those are the bread i'm talking of because it does not rust so it is used in making cutlery such as knives okay breads because it does not rust that is the reason why it is used then we also have soda soda it is tin and reed so soda is used in making soldering wires okay soldering wires so these are some of the um examples of alloy so that is basically what we can discuss when it is, comes to alloy and i should have mentioned also or described also how an alloy is uh, formed okay i mean how an alloy or the description of an alloy i should have given that perhaps i can just give that orally so because we are going to find a question that asks you about that part. Well, let me just write it so that we do not struggle answering the question. So we can say an alloy contain. So we are describing an alloy contain atoms of different of different sizes which distorts. Okay? Which distorts the regular arrangement which distorts regular arrangements of let me start from here atoms this makes it more difficult make it more difficult for the layers okay layers to slide past each other as you know metals what them what makes them ductile is because the particles or the atoms can slide past each other making alloy making alloy harder or harder than pure metals okay making them harder than pure metals so if you are asked to describe uh, an, at an alloy we can say an alloy contain atoms of different uh, sizes which distorts the arrangement uh, which distorts the regular arrangement of atoms this makes it uh, even more difficult for layers to slide past each other making alloy harder than pure metals 
Okay, so we've concluded a quick revision on alloy. Uh, we can answer the questions now. We are ready to answer the questions. So here is the question that came in that particular year or in uh, a certain year. And of course, it was on question C. So one major use of alloy in everyday life is making of... Uh, one major use of iron in everyday life is making of alloys. Describe the structure of an alloy. Okay, that is just what I'm from explaining. Describe the structure of an alloy. So for you to describe the structure of an alloy, you are going to put this information. So this is how you describe the structure of an alloy. Okay. Then the second question. So describe the structure of an alloy and draw the labeled uh, diagram. Okay. So we've just uh, put this diagram. Okay, so under this, you've just put structure of uh, um, an alloy. Okay. Then the other question, that is B. Is it B? Yes. Give two reasons why alloy, iron is alloyed. Give two reasons why iron is alloyed. In other words, why is iron not used in its pure, or why is iron not mainly used in its pure state? Why is it alloyed or why is it joined with other metals? And of course, this one, we can also derive the reasons from uh, the advantages of alloy. So to answer the question, we are going to say, uh, to make it strong, okay? To make it strong. Iron in its pure state is weak, okay? So to make it strong, we alloy it, okay? Then the other one, we can say to increase its, uh, to increase its corrosion resistance so to increase its corrosion to improve or to increase its corrosion resistance then name two alloy of iron what are the two alloys of iron so what we've looked at let me just go uh, back to what we've discussed so we have mild steel iron is involved here as you can see so mild steel carbon and iron and it is used in making of bridges in case they ask us they use and also used in making of what boiling tools boiling tools not boiling for boiling i don't know this is boiling tools so take note of that then the other one it is stainless steel there's iron here so stainless steel is one of the alloy and it is used in making catalysts such as braids and uh, razor braids. I mean such as uh, braids and knives. So we've answered that question from what I've just explained. Okay. So name two alloy of iron. We have mild steel and stainless steel. Then state one use of each alloy. We've just given the use. This one we said is used in making of bridges then of course this one we are saying making of catalysts then give one use of alloy other than making uh, give one use of iron other than making alloys what is the other use of iron so the other use of iron if you've done uh, electromagnetic induction electro i mean uh, electromagnetic yes induction you understand that this one or transformers you understand that this one is used as a core of a transformer so used as transformer core then also used to make electro magnets as you know it is easy to magnetize and demagnetize so these are some of the uh one of these you can give as uh, the other use aside from that so that is where we get to end so please if you've enjoyed the lesson, don't forget to subscribe, get to share also with others, inform others also so that we can revise together. As always, if you are interested to join us for online lessons for next year, you can contact the number 097620, I mean 402563. Otherwise, see you in the next one.